<laughs> Happy holidays, everyone. I sounded so country saying that. I don't know what that was, but I'm sending a big hug to everyone, sending some love. I know the holidays isn't always an easy time for everyone. I know me personally, I was real emotional and feeling real down the first week of December. Just think, just, you know, thinking about family and how everything isn't perfect. And I don't expect it to be, but around Christmas time, especially, I miss my grandparents who have passed in 2014. It's just, this time can be a lot, but I'm feeling good. The weather is beautiful. You sometimes you just gotta sit outside and just, uh, like you can breathe outside. I'm seeing a little more green on these trees. Whoa, okay. Well, this, this video is gonna be all about me talking to myself, you know, asking a few little self-reflection questions. And I'm excited. I feel like I haven't really been spending much time with me, talking to me, getting to know me. I know I haven't even been too consistent with videos, but even outside of that, it's like, I kind of miss me. I don't think I've been giving myself too much attention. And I need it. I really need it. I'm excited. I really love questions. Like, whether it's coming from me, whether it's coming from somebody else, because I like to think I like something that makes me sit back and be like how do I feel about that I feel like lately my mind has been kind of quiet which isn't it's not bad at all it's just like where have I been and not even in the way that like I haven't even been dissociating it's not what I'm talking about it's just like I haven't been present I just haven't been present with me yeah question number one how do you feel about this past week slash month slash year? If you can't tell, I'm glowing. Not only just because, it ain't just the sun, you know. I don't need the sun to shine. Um, this is the I just quit my job glow. That unemployed glow. <laughs> no, but um, this past week has been good. You know, we're in January now. It doesn't even feel like it. It's past month. I feel like I just haven't been spending much time with me, which is, it's like I've been spending a lot of time with people I love and I am one of those people, but I haven't been putting myself at the forefront, which is also why I'm gonna start taking myself on solo dates. How romantic. And then this past year, you know, woo! <laughs> I'm actually so, so satisfied with my 2022 so satisfied it is no point of thinking about all the things i could have done it's the past it's gone i did great i grew that's the that's number one i've accomplished a lot and we're gonna accomplish more this um this year and i was writing a letter to myself today a couple hours ago i was writing a letter to myself that um, I'm gonna open, I'm supposed to read it in December. I'm writing to December 2023 Jackson. And I was just saying some things that I would have accomplished by then. Uh, whether it's something as small as getting back to my morning routine and exercising regularly, um, to something as big as traveling to at least two countries this year and, you know, performing more and just, every accomplishment is a big accomplishment to me it's not nothing small and i celebrate myself along the way i do with a little i'm proud of you and a huggy <laughs> what did you love most about your childhood home why <sighs> all of a sudden i feel like crying <laughs> i think that's another thing i've been um avoiding not crying but like I haven't been journaling much when it comes to like if I'm feeling overwhelmed or overthinking or anything like that and I know every time I journal I dig a little deeper and not into like a negative space or anything it's just like I dig a little deeper into me because you know I'm still getting to know me I'm still figuring me out I'm still connecting with myself and it's like I feel like lately I've been disconnected 
but it's little things like this that make me emotional it's just like you know reminiscing but um what i love most about my childhood home is all the memories i made and you know if y'all don't know for those of you who don't know you know i've got new subscribers here thank you hello um i have 10 siblings i'm number three i wouldn't choose any other number i'm so happy to be three um i have an older brother an older sister and then all the babies and i'm grateful to be number three with an older brother and older sister i, I get to know what it's like to have both an older brother and older sister and all these younger siblings i'm not even answering the question what i love most about my childhood home is the memories i made especially because i was living with all my siblings at the time you know we we grow up we we move away we we separate life happens but i miss that like i even think about right now i'm not moving out. i don't know when i'm gonna be moving out but I would just miss, I know when I do move out, I will miss that. A whole lot of like, I don't, you know, I would be making dances with my big sister. And Jevin, I, I know I've made lots of dances with Jevin too. We played Mario Kart. It's just like a whole lot of memories were made there. And you want to hold on to that. But you just take them with you wherever you go. It's like when you miss what it feels like to be a little kid, just tap back into your inner child wake them up what makes you feel like a kid again what, what makes your inner child feel alive and it's so funny because i think it was last month or just a few weeks ago yeah last month when i made a whole list of things and i'm still adding to it whenever something comes to mind a stuff that like makes my inner child just happy question two what is your love language? What makes you feel most loved and cared for? That will be a video. Um, my favorite, I don't know why I said my favorite. My primary love language is words of affirmation and it always has been. It's always been number one, always. And number two and three always switch back and forth from, you know, quality time and acts of service. Words just do it for me. They make me feel seen. A little, I'm proud of you. A little, you're doing great. Uh, I feel so safe with you. Or this, or that, or you're beautiful. And a genuine, just genuine words of affirmation. You, you, you know when they're coming from the heart. It just feels good to feel seen with words. And even something as small as um, me making my videos and people telling me that they resonate with what I'm saying or me posting some of a performance of me doing sp spoken word and people just feeling me it's like and them expressing that it's like wherever you think however deep you think they hit me they hit me deeper much deeper than that and it makes me feel so full and it makes me feel so loved and it's like just thank you for seeing me so there's there's a whole lot of love behind my thank yous words of affirmation really does it for me what's the bravest thing you've ever done what comes straight to mind is a letter that i wrote to my mom my freshman year of high school um we're not like this but at that time but our relationship is healthy right now um but at that time it was just like i just felt like i was being treated like just so different from the rest of my siblings i felt like i'm just like I just felt like I didn't matter and it's just like a whole lot of things were really heavy on my heart and I needed to let that out and I knew that if I tried to talk to her about it it would be I feel like I wouldn't even be able to do it it would be too hard for me but also you know when somebody wouldn't be willing to hear you out anyway so it's kind of like it's pointless but um but sometimes a letter is what you got to do I wrote a letter, found a way to send it to her um, over the phone, and that was hard, very hard, and it wasn't received the way I wanted it to be received, but that's okay because I spoke my truth, 
And I'm so proud of me. The me who did that. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's one of the bravest things I've ever done. What gives you the utmost fulfillment in life? I say spending time with people I love and who love me. I love spending time with friends and family. It just fills me up, you know? I actually feel full. It's just like having fun, just... Or doing nothing with the people you love. It's just like, I just love this. And also poetry. It's just like, I love this. Even though I haven't been writing much. I was thinking recently about how I don't think I know how I want to be loved. And then I started writing my different thoughts about it down in my notes app. It's like, I don't think I know how I want to be loved, but love me anyway. But I would love this, but this, that, 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 that. It's like, it's just so interesting how thoughts can eventually form into a poem how a poem doesn't always start as a poem. But when your thoughts are poetic, I mean, it's already a poem, baby. Are you happy with your job right now? Quit! <laughs> that sound like the fakest laugh ever, but um, I wanna work at a flower shop. I wanna, or an herbal shop. I, I wanna, like I was working at the thrift store, which is cool, cause the discount and like, thrifting you get whatever you get to shop which is also not the best for my bank account i'm not financially disciplined right now actually let me speak it into my life i am financially disciplined i'm reading think and grow rich right now so my my mind is like it's shifting when i'm reading the book smarter i'm being smarter i'm doing better i want to be in environments where i can learn something what am i going to learn at the thrift store besides how to help with this self-checkout there's so much I want to learn about. It's like, yeah, you can learn on your own. But right now, what can you do right now? Like, obviously a flower shop isn't the end all be all. There's so much I want to do and will do. So much I want to learn and will learn. But if you're interested in learning about herbs and flowers and plants in general, why don't you just work somewhere where you have no choice but to grow in that environment? Next. Name the person who makes you laugh the most. How? Obviously, I want to say me because I'm freaking hilarious. And I, I do make me laugh the most. But um, I'm going to say my Belle Belle. Hi, Belle. I know you're watching this. Um, we just, we're just two goofballs. We're just really two goofballs together. We're two goofballs individually. Throw us together. We're a big, loud mess. But a good mess um we're just so similar but also neither one of us can take anything seriously and I, I mean we talk 24 7 it's like it's just always something to laugh about I'm hilarious she's a little funny I guess it's just like it's it's funny I was just thinking about her yesterday or something I was just like she's just a ball of fun like she's she's just a ball of fun she's like a, a firework she's like confetti like Christmas Christmas lights it's just you know th that's the stuff that just makes you feel like a little kid it just makes you happy and smile and just you just have fun just looking at it it's just that's my bell bell yeah we're really two crazy peas in a pod we're dumb and dumber we're just <laughs> we just we're just a crazy combination but yeah I guess she's a little funny have you been heartbroken before? What steps did you take towards healing? What precautions will you take in the next relationship? I was in a relationship my high school, um, most of my high school career. It was from my freshman year to junior year. And it wasn't healthy at all for the most part. So it's like, once you get out of that, you're, you're rediscovering yourself. You've been with this person for a long time. And I, was really I realized I was codependent like you you feel like you have to have this person which says a lot about um your self-worth and self-esteem and everything it's just like solitude was really important for me after that and just quiet just it's like what do I love to do I love to read I was starting to read a lot more you know 
you're just getting to know yourself again that's that's the steps to healing just coming back to you who are you what do you love to do and just loving yourself and after it's like when once you get out of an unhealthy relationship you also have to learn to rebuild your trust with yourself it's like if i put up with this and i accepted this how will i be accepting this again if it took me forever to really see this person for who they are and for them to show who they really are it's like will the next one be wearing a mask and i'll just have to be on the lookout it's so funny because i'm in a re relationship now it's like it's like i'm still on the lookout i'm with a good guy but it's like i'm still waiting for something to happen not like heavily like right when we first started getting to know each other it's like do what you're gonna do because i'm ready to go like that's what that's what's going on in my head it's like it's kind of like in my mind i'm just like this why are you here like what you what do you really want like hi bye yeah you messed up good because i was ready to go but now it's like oh i'm comfortable now okay it's like <laughs> you know you just gotta relax just relax because i trust me now and i know i'll accept good and choose good the precautions i'm taking now is just like just relax talk to god say god you know is this for me is your hand in this what do you want me to see you know just trust god will lead and make sure you follow ah <sighs> learning and growing what is your ideal family and life look like this one this is really interesting it's like when you're a little girl for me i feel like this is the case for a lot of us but you look forward to everything that will come when you're older and you're basically planning everything out in your head you can see it all you see the wedding dress, you see the wedding. You see the man, you see how many kids. You see the job. You see it all. It's just like, my ideal life is whatever God wants for me. This is just all. And it's not even a matter of what my ideal family and life looks like. It's about what it feels like. I don't know how many kids I'm going to have. I would love to have five children and more if that's what God wants. I would love to not have less than five children, but you never know. There's so much I want to do. So I'm, I'm just excited to see what I'll end up doing. I think, you know, I'm 20 years old. I have time to do it all, try it all out. Put a little, try a little bit of this, try a little bit of that. Oh, I don't like that, moving on. Oh, I love this, stick with it, you know? And then just, you know, I guess become a master of those things that I do love and continue to grow. So I don't think I see much when it comes to being exact, but I know I'll be following my heart. I can't not. It's just, that's just how I'm built. I have to. So, keeping my passions alive, using the gifts God gave me, and when it comes to family and how my life looks, I'll be living peacefully. That's what's important to me. Living peacefully, feeling so blissful, spending lots of time with family, creating new traditions, keeping up the traditions, spreading love, giving back. I'm just excited. It's like, I can't really see where I'll be. I know it'll be a lot of travel too, period. Um, I'm just excited. So I can't pinpoint everything. And I'm glad I can't pinpoint everything. It's like, you know, even when I'm a little girl, I see the wedding. It's like, for the past two years, I've been saying I don't even want a wedding, but lately I've been like, a wedding would be so nice though. It wouldn't be traditional, 
traditional at all but if i do end up having a wedding it'll be very intimate and it might as well be in another country right like i don't know i don't know when it comes to that type of stuff i don't really know what i want but that's so far ahead i don't really gotta i don't gotta know i don't gotta know anything and sometimes it feels good to not know because then god can continue surprising you god's always surprising me and i love surprises so it makes me so happy but you know one of my you know favorite affirmations number one is i am powerful beyond measure but um another one of my favorites is i attract magic and miracles in my life and i recognize the magic and miracles that are already in my life <sighs> so i'm praying for more magic and miracles and praying that i notice them because they're already here I feel like I just reconnected with me a little bit more. Feels good. I hope you guys are all doing great and happy holidays.